Hey, 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 Libra, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, June 4th to the 5th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Libra, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the info is in the description box below. I'm going to grab four cards here, Libra, and then get a channeled message from Spirit just for you. Okay, what's going on for Libra? Oh, there you are. All right. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We have the Nine of Wands. The King of Swords. That's you. This is you too. The Empress. And the Five of Swords. Ew. Okay. Let's get this message from Spirit Libra. See what's up. Take your time, Libra, when figuring out your next steps. Don't jump the gun. Don't make a decision in haste, Libra. They're really cautioning you because they're saying it in so many different ways here. Okay, something may happen where you want to do something in haste. And they're saying, stop and think. Okay, it's like this, the, the, this is you, Libra, the King of Swords here, right? And the King of Swords in this deck is, look, so overpowering. He takes up, out of all the kings, if you look at all the kings, he takes up almost the entire card right? A very dominant presence, okay? Very different feeling than other kings, king, king of swords in different decks that I have, okay? So, try to pull back a little before you go forward in action because it may be, see, this is, you're defensive. You're the wounded warrior. Something happened where it's like you're not giving up on love, you're not giving up, you're not giving up, uh, you're, but you're tired, right? And you're defensive. So, and then on top of that, you've got the five of swords, which is anger, jealousy, resentment. So if you throw that into the mix, you may have this urge to act before you think, okay? And especially with the energy that's going around, astrologically speaking, and just the earth energy. Okay, what's what's happening um, with the awakening process on the earth? It's, it's really, um, it's very, I don't wanna say angry energy, it's just, it's, it's energy that can really get you riled up, okay? So be aware of that. Let's see who this Empress is as well. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Why do you, f why is this Five of Swords here? Why is this Five of Swords here? For Libra. Why is this Five of Swords here for Libra? Oh, judgments. Hmm. Wow. You may have gotten an epiphany about something. What was the epiphany about? It's also a reunion card, but I don't feel it's about that. The Emperor here. The Queen of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Oh, 
this has come up. Did this come up in your June reading? Okay. Libra. If you are coupled with somebody, okay, what I'm seeing here, and they're confirming, is that you're looking at the person that you're with. There's a discovery about them reuniting with somebody from their past. Um, and this is where that anger and jealousy is coming from. So you may want to react to this like very quickly in haste. Okay. Yeah. This was a secret that came out with the high priestess here. She always keeps secrets. So you are all up in your head about this. What is this emperor about? The fool. Okay. Libra, I feel like you feel like a fool. Because I feel like you're the emperor here. And you can't understand it. You just... Oh, why? Yeah. Wow. So you're holding back. You're holding back. But be careful because you know how sometimes you hold back, you hold back, you hold back. And then you just want to blow. Why is the nine of... Um, yeah, the nine of wands is here because of the nine of swords. And that's anxiety fear that's being kept up at night that's um nightmares that's tell me about the empress here why is the empress here Ooh. we've got the devil card card of capricorn hmm interesting Okay, now you're thinking about your happiness, right? But you're also thinking, there are so many things going through your head, Libra. You're, you're thinking about toxic relationships, maybe from the past, codependent relationships, maybe from the past, because we do have the soulmate past life here. So this all happens, and I do feel it's this Queen of Wands here. that this all comes out. I feel like your intuition tells you and I'm not sure how you find out, but I almost want to say you see you see something cuz the 5 of swords is looking right at this judgment card, right? That epiphany. So you see something that just it it's like something clicks open. Why is the devil card here though? The Empress could be a Taurus or a Libra. I don't think it's this. It could be you. You may have... All right, you're choosing what path to take. Now, for some of you, this role could be re reversed, right? I don't feel it's that way. Um, but there is a choice that somebody's needing to make. Or maybe it's you. Like, do you stay with this person if you... Yeah. Yeah, because you thought it was the Ten of Pentacles, right? But what's hidden has come to light with the Moon card here. Tell me about the King of Swords. Yeah. King of Swords is here because of the Ten of Swords. And that's betrayal, lying, backstabbing. Something ending. Okay, so for whoever this is for, and this has come up a, a couple of times for Libras. It won't resonate with everybody, so it doesn't. If it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. This is just what I'm getting. So tell me advice for Libra. Time to start a new cycle. Time to end one cycle and begin another. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Reunion card again. Wow. Wow. Well, let me clarify this. Because I don't know if you're thinking about reuniting with anybody with what's going on. You've got so much in your mind. 
It could be reuniting with your soul, right? Okay, this is destiny, Libra. It's supposed to happen. So Spirit is saying concentrate on your work for now to take your mind off of it, to get out of this energy because this is a very overpowering energy, especially if you're pissed off, okay? So focus on your work. Know that a new cycle is beginning and this is destiny, this is fate. So you're getting, you're being put where you need to be put, placed. You're being placed where you need to be, Libra. All right, Libra, I hope this made sense. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe. Strength card at the bottom of the deck. Card of Leo. You're strong, Libra. You can get through it. Just think before you act. All right, Libra, if you want a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to your needs and your questions, the info is in the description box below. The link to my Etsy shop. Have a good one, Libra. I'll talk to you tomorrow.